Pegasus has some interesting deep sky objects, including a group of galaxies, a unique quasar, and a galaxy that must be the location of Superman's home planet. Let's draw upon this seventh largest constellation to learn more about the night sky. Who is Pegasus? One day, Pegasus, the beautiful white winged horse, drank peacefully from the spring of Pyrene in ancient Corinth. Pegasus sensed Belephron's presence long before he stepped into the clearing. Unconcerned by the surprised approach, the winged horse confidently lapped up the fresh water. Pegasus had escaped capture many times at the hands of far more eager captors than a single mortal. His speed and agility remained unmatched. So Pegasus just waited as Belephron approached, not offering even a second glance towards the man. Had the horse looked over for more than a second, he would have noticed a simple golden bridle, a gift from the goddess Athena, clutched in Belephron's hand. Belephron moved quickly and lashed out at the horse's head with the golden bridle. Amazed by the unusual ease with which the bridle made its way around the horse's muzzle, Belephron found himself jumping astride Pegasus without any struggle. Soon, the hero had tamed the legendary horse, which was nothing short of a miracle. The two went on to accomplish amazing feats, including killing the dreaded Chimera. Emboldened by his successes, Belephron ordered Pegasus to fly him to Mount Olympus. The proud hero would claim for himself a place among the gods. Higher and higher, the pair flew, rising above the clouds. Zeus looked down from above, angered by the mortal's arrogance. In response, the gods sent down nothing more than a mere gadfly. The little pest latched onto the horse. The small sting caused the winged horse to suddenly throw the rider from his seat. A fall from such height proved that Belafron would never reach Mount Olympus. Pegasus, on the other hand, would join Zeus's stable, carry the god's lightning bolts, and eventually earn his place in the stars. That's more or less Pegasus's story. I took some creative liberty with the narrative, but I think I hit most of the main points that occur in his mythology. It's always fun to know some of the stories, especially if you're stargazing with friends. So with that background, let's take a look at the constellation. When can I see Pegasus? Pegasus is a fall constellation. It can be seen from September to January. It reaches its early night accumulation in late October, that's when it'll be highest in the night sky at around 9 or 10 p.m. Where can I find Pegasus? Pegasus is a pretty easy constellation to find. Just remember it will be fairly large and spread out in the sky. Look for four bright stars in the shape of a square. Below that is Pisces, which covers a relatively dark part of the sky. Above Pegasus and slightly more westward, you will see the constellation Cygnus, which can be identified as an asterism, or star pattern that looks like a cross. Look up for long enough and you're sure to see the Great Scare of Pegasus. That's the name of the asterism that makes up the four bright stars. With enough practice, you'll also be able to see the stars that denote Pegasus's two front legs and his neck and head. Only the front half of this horse is usually depicted. Celestial objects in Pegasus. Alpharats is the brightest star in the square of Pegasus. To Greek astronomers, it actually belonged to both Andromeda and Pegasus. In 1922, when the modern constellation boundaries were defined, Andromeda snagged Alpharats, so technically it's not part of Pegasus anymore. Beta Pegasi, or Shiat, meaning the Shin, is now Pegasus's brightest star. It has an apparent magnitude of about 2.4. Other stars that are good to know include Markab, which is another star in the Great Square, and is Arabic for saddle, and Enif, marking the horse's muzzle, which is Arabic for nose. Last but certainly not least, here are the top three deep sky objects to look for in your telescope. These are the three brightest deep sky objects in Pegasus, and they have an apparent magnitude of less than 12. So with good conditions, you should be able to find these using most amateur telescopes. I use a 133 millimeter telescope, and I love it. I'll provide a link down below if you're interested. M15, also called the Pegasus Cluster, comes in at a magnitude of about 6.3. You could almost see this fuzzy patch of light with the unaided eye. It is one of the oldest known globular clusters or tightly packed grouping of stars. It's estimated to be about 12.5 billion years old. 
Even though it has such a bright apparent magnitude, this cluster is roughly 32,000 light years away. The Dirlik group is a collection of five galaxies, with NGC 7331 being the most prominent. NGC 7331 is an unbarred spiral galaxy with an apparent magnitude of about 9.48. Although these galaxies look close together from our perspective, they are not an actual galaxy group, meaning they're not at all within each other's gravitational fields. They look like neighbors from our perspective, but they're actually quite far away from each other, even by galaxy standards. The Superman Galaxy, or NGC 7479, is a beautiful S-shaped spiral ga- wait, that's a Z-shape. Well anyway, it is a barred spiral galaxy home to intense star-forming activity. Its magnitude is about 10.85, and in my opinion, is probably where Superman's home planet, Krypton, is located. Just saying. Now we can't end a video on Pegasus without mentioning Einstein's cross. While you won't be able to see this from your backyard, NASA has spotted something very peculiar here near the border of Pegasus and Aquarius. What looks like five star clusters is actually one gravitationally lensed quasar. So in other words, it's one very bright galactic nucleus, covered by another galaxy in such a way that the light from the quasar is bent and reflected around the much nearer galaxy, creating the illusion of four quasars. Basically, it's uh, the center of a galaxy that is, uh, we're seeing an optical illusion of it. The pictures of it are very cool, very fascinating. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you are able to find Pegasus or any of its deep sky objects. And as always, look up, keep learning, and remember to smile.